Hello friends, welcome back to Node.js tutorial. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to create API with Node.js. So basically, when you talk about Node.js, the maximum places you will use API, right? So we need to know how to work with Node.js API. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the API and we'll discuss about the Express framework, right? So this is my blank folder I just created and uh, first of all we need to use the npm that is the node package manager so we'll initialize our node application by using npm init actually all the things we already discussed about in my node.js tutorial playlist you can find link from the description section and also this video will add in that playlist also so from today we'll start discussion with node api so in this video we'll create a get api then post put delete so all the thing we'll cover right so simply just initialize the application and if we just enter this it will create a node application that is it will initialize the package station so just i am using the default section so i am not going to waste uh, much time so the all things are done and simply write yes and it's create a package dot json so simply just go to the visual studio code you will find that right every node application we need the package dot json so package dot json is mainly responsible to manage all the packages so for now this is the uh, project information and now if we install any package so it will add in package.json right it will create a node modules and it will create a package.json log file also and all things i have already discussed right so now we need to install the mysql so how to install mysql simply just write npm mysql so if you check npmjs.com so basically this is the npm package uh, sites and to install mysql simply use npm i install so you can write uh, detail npm install mysql or npm i install both are same so it will install mysql into my application and another thing i will use the express framework so simply write npm express and here just install the express so npm i express so very common things and for development purpose i will use the no daemon right so i already discussed about how no daemon use and how sorry no daemon npm so simply right here so npm i no daemon so basically this package are using only for uh, development purpose so we can simply use the dev dependency so simply write npm install and uh, it will save as a dev dependency so if you just go to the package.json we can see there is a dependency section that is the express i installed just now mysql i installed just now so if i just install node daemon with the dev dependency so simply it will install into the dev dependency section right so let's install first and it's installing and done right so you are getting the dev dependency right so basic things are installed now we need to create a api so we'll use the postman so let's click on this it will take some time to load the postman and now the thing is here you can see in the package.json we have index.js this is the main file so let's create the file first index.js and here we'll do other things right so simply let's try to connect with uh, mysql so simply let's create a constant variable and create mysql equal to require mysql so i already installed so we can use this and create a connection object so simply write constant con so this will be the connection object and here we'll use mysql dot create connection so this is the method to create connection with the database we need to use these things and here it will take some things some parameters like a host name so simply we are using in the locally so simply use local host and there is user that is the um, username of your database so simply uh, for me actually the username is root i am writing a root and simply write password and here if you if i don't have any password leave it blank i have password and i entered my password 
and here the database name I already created database so we all know that how to create a database and here my database name is note project so simply just copy this note project and here we can see there is space so this should maybe create any problem and here also created a students table oh, I will discuss on this later so let's connect with the database first and to connect simply we have a connection object that is a con and let's use the connect so basically connect have one callback function that is I'm simply creating an arrow function and inside here simply check if any error so simply just write if any error and it will simply print the error right so simply write console log and just keep a message connection not proper or something wrong anything so it's only up to you so simply write else will print the console log it's connected so let's check whether my database connection is successfully working or not okay C O N N E C T D. okay and let's run this application so simply write no daemon and my file name index js so here we can see the connected that means database connection is successfully done now the thing is now we need to use the express framework i already installed and we need to create routing so we'll create different different route for different different purposes and we'll test that from the postman so this is the api testing tool right and other things so if i just want to create a separate file and want to create a connection this will be better because every time when we don't need it will also load and if you need it will still load means i want to say i want a clean code so in professionally or oh, when you create any application for connection related things or something those are constant we don't need to uh, change every times keep it a separate file so that it will be clean files and whenever it will require just include that so simply i'm just creating here another file like uh, i am setting the connection dot js c o n n e c t i o n dot js and all the things i just put in here so simply just cut this and put it here and here we know the module concept so here i just exporting this object so that we can access this object from the index dot js so simply just write here module dot exports module dot exports and just export the connection and we can get this connection from index.js so how simply just write constant and create a connection and just require the file name so actually my file name is connection.js and these are in the uh, same path so simply just uh, write in this way connection okay and let's try to run this so already we are using node one that the reason is automatic restarting and it's connected right that means these are absolutely fine and it's working so we don't need to think about the connection related things okay now we need express so simply let's require this express into your application so simply express sorry express and equal to require express so express is installed now i just want to create another variable constant app express so we can get all the express frameworks functionalities from the app through the app right so simply let's create a basic uh, api so before that i just going to um listen my server so simply a uh, listen list and listen and i want to set a port suppose 4200 and i don't need this thing actually for testing purpose i created so though i am not deleting this code but still i am taking this and simply here write console log and let's try if anything printing or not so simply write 
test. So now if I just check, so we are getting test that means it's working. So all are done. Now let's create a routing. So the basic routing app. So app is using an express. So that's the reason I'm using app in every section and the basic routing is get. So I'm using this get and also it will uh, get a call a function like a request and a response so simply write req short from so we don't write to uh, code maximum things so simply write a create arrow function so this is the arrow function and let's try so simply write console log or simply uh, just write response dot send so res dot send and here is something right um, api or simply write get api working okay now uh, we are using nodemon so just go to this port actually 4200 so just go here localhost and write here 4200 we are getting api get api working so if we just check these same things into from uh, postman we will also get so simply write a new http a request so simply just check this click on send and get api working that means it's basic api and it's working and we can see the result from the postman okay now our motto is to find some result from this mysql table that is the students table so how we can get access of these tables right already we connected with the database now we need to write the query so simply for database related things we exported this connection and we are using con for connection and to create or to write any query simply write con dot query right and here we need to pass our query so here simply write select star from my table name so what is my table name actually students select star from students and the second parameter of this method is actually the callback function this is this actually response in error and the result okay actually uh, the error is if any error found that time we can handle this so simply write if error then uh, simply write uh, res dot send and simply write error or something it's up to you and else so simply write response dot result right so what is the result result okay and not result actually response dot send and i'm going to pass the result from here so simply just go to the postman again and click on send i think it should work right so we are getting all the records so if i check here so simply just down these things so we are getting these records right so all the things we are getting uh, from the database so this is basically the simple get api concept in uh, node.js with the express framework api and still if you have any questions about this video please comment in a below comment section next day we are going to discuss about how to create a post api so we'll post some data from the postman and we'll save that data into the database right so very important so please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video and thanks for watching this video have a good day bye